Well, hello there, my beautiful bougie friends. So you guys wanted butterfly nails, and here you guys go. Butterfly nails a la Vanity Val. So today is going to be a learn with me episode, you guys. I'm going to teach you guys how I learn how to use water decals. And I'm going to teach you guys my fails. <laughs> and I'm also going to teach you guys how I did this really cool crystal butterfly. I was inspired by this um, Instagram picture right here. And I put credit to the original creator on my Instagram if you guys want to go check them out. And yeah, so if you guys want to learn how to do these beautiful gorgeous extra butterfly nails stick around but before we start i want to give a shout out to marita elizalde and kentia hawkins for being the first two people to give me an idea for my clear press-ons and i also want to give a shout out to the rest of you guys who gave me ideas too thank you guys so much you guys are so awesome i'm gonna put all your guys idea in a shoe box i'm gonna shake it up and i'm gonna pick an idea what do you guys think about that it's a little it's a little ghetto but we like it like that so today we are going to start off with our press-on nails on our press-on nail stand and just a disclaimer before I started doing these nails I actually started sitting down and I started taking off my crystals off of my nails But the freaking crystals on my pinky are on there rock solid you guys if you guys want to know the products that I use I use these two things the cuticle clipper and the cuticle pusher to remove them well, all right, you guys, before we get started, I want to show you these really cool decals that I got from Amazon. They were really inexpensive. And look how many freaking decals it comes with. So freaking many. It's a lot of them. And I really think it's worth your money. I think these were like about 10 bucks, maybe less. I'm not really sure. I don't really like buying expensive things. So whatever I recommend, you just know it's not going to be like more than 50 bucks. <laughs> your girl is cheap. <laughs> well, I'm probably going to end up using these beautiful blue butterflies. But yeah. I just want to show you guys the rest of these designs all right you guys let's go so I'm gonna start off by buffing the tops of my nails and you guys already know the reason why I do this I do this because you want to create a texture so your gel nail polish has something to grip onto and it doesn't peel off like a sticker and now we're going to take our nail file and we're going to shape them but I don't really like to shape them that much I already like the shape I just shape off the little tip of um, a plastic that's on the tip of all press on nails i don't know if you guys are used to seeing that little tiny piece of plastic well i hate that little piece of plastic i shave it right off and this is what our nails should be looking like they should be matte and white and they should be kind of sort of textured and this is what i'm going to use to clean them off you guys don't need to use rubbing alcohol if you guys don't have any i know it's really hard to find soap and water works just fine just put it on a napkin and just wipe it right off you guys just need to wipe off the dust and you guys need to get rid of all the oils from touching them so that the nail polish doesn't peel off oh so, while i was cleaning them i was kind of thinking to myself i wanted to do something a little bit more fun so i'm going to take my stiletto nails as you guys could see right here and i'm going to be taking a pinky nail because i want a coffin set with just a pinky nail so that's what i did and i already filed it and everything and i shaped it to my liking and now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to start painting my nails so i'm going to be taking my favorite amy lee light pink water bath type of color i really like it it's really sheer and it's pink and then i'm going to be taking Taking my favorite ASP white color in the color white hot and now I'm going to begin painting my nails we love this brand both these brands only took two coats for me to reach my desired opaqueness I did two coats and in between each coat I put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds so I would paint one layer put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds take it out paint another layer put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds and when I take it out I start putting my clear nail polish on top. Once we're done, we're going to be taking our Beatles No Wipe Top It Off Top Coat and we're going to be painting all of our nails. So the other day I got a message, somebody letting me know that no matter how long they stick their nails in the UV lamp, they're top it off top coat never cures if this ever happens to you you may need to get a new uv lamp or you may just need to get a refund because you may have gotten a defective product because after 60 seconds your nails should look like this and they shouldn't be sticky at all well all right you guys so let's begin with the fake french nail so i'm gonna fake it till i make it because i don't know how to use acrylic girl so i'm gonna paint one corner to another corner of my nail just like this just one straight line bloop and we just fill it in you guys and that is our fake french tip with no acrylic and then we're gonna go from one corner to another corner and we're gonna paint it just like this Boop. and if you guys need to fix it up a little brush with a little bit of water on the tip cleans up the corners just fine and then we just fill it in you guys 
Hey, it looks I mean, so it's gonna cute. Be two coats, so um, right now it looks a little ugly, but just know, just trust the process, you guys. So we are going to be sticking this in the UV lamp for 60 seconds, and then we are going to be working on the other finger. So again, from one corner to another corner, bloop, one little swipe, and there you go. And then you could just go ahead and you just fill it in. And this is going to take two coats, you guys. 60 seconds in between. Okay guys, so this is what our nails should look like after they have their two coats of white. Now we're going to be taking our favorite Beatles Top It Off top coat and we're going to give them a nice thick layer over the top because it is a little bit lumpy since we did do two layers of white and we want it to look nice and smooth and with a thick layer of the Beatles Top It Off top coat, you could achieve that nice little smooth sleek shine as you guys can see here. And we're going to be putting it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds and when we take them out, this is what they should look like. Alright you guys, now time for the fun part. So I don't know whether if I want to choose between these two little freaking decals. But eventually I ended up choosing the blue because I really really love the blue. Okay you guys, so the materials that you guys need to start is most importantly is you guys are going to need a little bit of water. You guys are going to need an area for you guys to dump your decal in. And then you guys are going to need small cuticle scissors to cut out the design. And then you're going to need these tweezers. So you guys could um, take off the film and then gently place them onto the nail. So here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out the butterflies that I want to use on my nails. And once we're done cutting out the butterfly decals, we are going to be taking the nails that we want to decorate. And for our decals, I want to use our sharp pointy pinky because I just thought it'd be really cute to have a really beautiful butterfly out pinky. And so now let's get our water and let's get our decal. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that thin piece of plastic on top of it. It's like a fake people tattoo you know those fake tattoos that you dump them in water and it has that fake piece of plastic on the top it's just like that we're gonna take it and bloop bye and now we're gonna take our butterfly and we're gonna dump it in some water and we're gonna let it sit in there for like five seconds or so and once we're done with the five seconds we are going to take it out try and take it out by the corner don't try and take it out by the design and this is what i did you guys i put it face down because i literally wanted to treat it like a human sticker or like a human tattoo and uh it's upside down so that's not how you do it you guys so uh i managed to save it i took my tweezers and i managed to gently slide it over and place it on top and with my fingers i patted it down and it ended up looking really cute, you guys. So I saved it. Yay! All right, you guys. So now let's do a take two. <laughs> so we are going to grab our decal and we're going to take the little film off of it like we did originally. And we're going to yeet that. And then we are going to put that decal in water. Don't put it in it's upside down like this, you guys. Put it upside up just like this. And you're going to let it sit in there for like five seconds. And when you're ready, take it out. Take it out by the corner, you guys. Try not to um, put your tweezers right on the design. And you're going to gently slide off your butterfly like this. Try to gently do it and then place it on top of your nail like this with your tweezers. And then pat it down with your finger, you guys. Bloop, 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 bloop. And you guys will have a butterfly on your guys' nail. Yay! So cute and so freaking easy, you guys. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be going to do the third one. Well, all right, you guys. So once we are done with our beautiful butterfly out pinky, we are going to be taking my favorite Beatles Top It Off No White Top Coat and we're going to add a thick coat of clear 
gel nail polish on top and we're going to put it underneath the uv lamp for 60 seconds and now we are going to begin the most challenging part of this video which is the crystal butterfly dun 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 so we are going to get our little crystals i will link everything in the description box below and i'm going to be using these crystals as well i got another crystal kit you guys and this one looks just like the old one that i usually use but this one actually has bigger crystals as you guys could see and i want to do big old extra jenny buoy sets with the jenny buoy gel that i just purchased so yeah i want to do that and then we're going to need some tweezers these tweezers came with the old crystal kit along with a wax pen and it will also be in the description box below and you will also need your rhinestone glue along with a brush all right you guys now that you have all of your products let's get to bedazzling so with my original crystal kit i am going to start building the body of the butterfly as you guys could see, I don't know, is it the abdomen and the thorax? I DK you guys. But I'm going to be building the top half of the body, the bottom half of the body, the antennas. And now I'm going to be putting together the little wings, as you guys could see here. Okay, you guys, so now we're going to be taking our glue. And we're going to take a nice, good, chunky amount. And I'm going to be adding it on the areas that I want to put the little body in, which is on the side of the nails. So what you want to do is you want to add the little body. And then you want to put them side by side because you want to make sure that the butterfly lies the same way. Just like this. And sometimes some people's fingers are uneven. So you guys might want to check your fingers. And you guys might want to set the butterfly a little higher than the other. So now I'm going to be adding the wings. As you guys could see here. And then when we are done, we are going to be adding some glue over its little head and we are going to be adding some antennas. I went with a different size of antenna because the other ones are just too big for its little head. And so now we're going to be taking our other round crystal kit. We're going to be scooping out these really tiny round crystals. And then I'm going to be scooping out these slightly larger crystals here as well. And now we are going to begin building the butterfly wing. So I want you guys to pay attention to the butterfly wing design that I have, I have done here. So what I did is I created a thin row of diamonds around the butterfly wings with the smaller diamonds. And then on the bottom wing, I went over it with another row of the thicker diamonds. And then on the top wing, I went over it twice with the thin diamonds. So the top wing has three rows. Okay, guys, so let's begin. So this is our all butterfly wing. And what we are going to do is we're going to add a row of glue around the butterfly wings. And we are going to add a row of thin diamonds all around the butterfly wings, as you guys could see here. You guys can definitely use tweezers to help you guys out if they get stuck underneath the wing. And then once we are done with that, we're going to take another row of glue and we're going to add a row of diamonds underneath the bottom butterfly wing, as you guys could see here. And then I'm going to add three rows on the top wing, as you guys could see here. I already went ahead and I did the other wing and I saw that they were even. And once I am happy with how the wings come out, I'm going to take some tweezers and I'm going to start spreading out the crystals to shape them more like a butterfly wing, as you guys could see. So I'm just going to take the tip of the tweezers and I'm just going to spread them out. And I'm just going to let you guys watch what I do. Okay guys, and once we are happy with the shape, we are going to put it in the UV lamp for more than 5 minutes because this thing really needs to set and this is what it should look like. Alright you guys, so now let's move on to our fake French tips and what we're going to do is to cover up our crooked lines because some of us sometimes really don't care. We're going to be adding a nice little row of diamonds. I added too much glue on this one you guys <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same on this one. So I added a thin little row of diamonds over the white line to hide the crookedness and then I added a nice little chunky diamond on the tip. And for our butterfly wing, I am just going to do an anti-row over it. Um, over it <laughs> and it's gonna look real cute you guys i'm really obsessed with this design you guys this is all i want to do to my nails i just want to anti-row them it just looks so freaking cute 
And once we are done bedazzling our whole entire set, we're going to stick it in the UV lamp for like about 4 or 5 minutes to set all the crystals. And this is what it should look like. So some of our crystals are dirty, so I'm going to use rubbing alcohol to clean them. But don't worry girl, one time I was in a pinch and I used Victoria's Secret Body Spray to clean my crystals. And it worked perfectly fine. So yeah, so this is what our set should look like. And this is the final result, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a big thumbs up if you guys really like videos like this and then also the next tutorial is going to be ombre which decal do you guys want me to use i have an lv decal i have a cc decal and i even have a barbie decal what do you guys want me to use on my next ombre set you guys give me some ideas babies well all right see you guys in the next one i love you guys so much i'm so thankful for you guys and don't forget to add me on instagram Mwah! love you guys stay safe and wash your hands bye babies